Baby, you don't know what you do to me Between me and you, I feel a like chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced So no one else Hey everyone and welcome to my channel in this video, I'm going to be taking down my three month old plaits as well as detangling my hair. So if this is something that you're interested in, then please stay tuned. So about three months ago, I went ahead and plaited slash braided my natural hair and I've been wearing a wig for the last three months as a protective style. So right now, I'm just going to show you guys my new growth and what my hair has been looking like underneath the wig. If you haven't checked out my moisturizing routine while I've been in my protective style, I'll go ahead and leave a link to that video in the cards above. During this time that my hair was in a protective style, I did not wash my hair. So yes, I did not wash my hair for about three months. And that is because in the past when I've washed my hair while it's in a protective style, my hair got matted really bad. Um, the last time I washed my hair while it was in a protective style, my hair was matted so bad that I had to cut my hair. So that is why I prefer not to wash my hair while it's in a protective style. Also, I don't suffer from any type of scalp conditions, which I've said um, before. I don't suffer from like dandruff or like psoriasis or things like that. Um, also, like my scalp doesn't really get dirty. Like, well, it doesn't appear dirty. Also, I know somebody's going to ask, did your hair stink? No, my hair did not have a smell to it. My hair did not stink at all during this entire process. So as you guys can see, I already started unraveling my braids. I'm starting off in the back section and then I'm just going to work my way up to the front of my head. So all I'm going to be using is a rat tail comb to help me to loosen up the ends of the braids because they were a little tight and I couldn't unravel them with my fingers. And what the rat tail comb does, it just helps to loosen up the braid so that way I can get through the braid a lot quickly. Um, if I was just using my fingers, it would probably take me forever to loosen up the braid. Also, I've been asked how do I keep my hair from locking up while it's in a protective style for so long, especially when you have like four type hair. Um, I'm not an expert at this, but I can give some suggestions um, from what I've experienced in the past. Um, one, I would say, like I previously said before, um, I don't wash my hair while it's in a protective style. Like I noticed like that prevents a lot of matting or my hair from locking up. Um, but if you're a type of person that you have to wash your hair every two weeks, then do what you got to do. Everybody hair is different. Everybody's scalp is different. But if you want to attempt to keep your protective style in for a longer period of time, um, I would suggest maybe trying dry shampoo or trying an apple cider vinegar rinse. Um, I think I have a video on my channel that's similar to an apple cider vinegar rinse. I'll go ahead and link it in the cards above or in the description box. Um, also, I would suggest um, not twisting your hair. I used to twist my hair um, before I started plaiting my hair. Um, I noticed when I would twist my hair, I would get more matting as well, or my hair would start to begin to lock up. So that's why I switched over to braiding slash plaiting my hair instead. And the last thing that I would suggest is making sure that your hair is moisturized. I would moisturize my hair two to three times a week while I was in a protective style. And even now when I'm taking out my braids, like my fingers are gliding right through my braids and my hair is thoroughly moisturized so that also helps prevent the matting as well as your hair potentially locking up while it's in a protective style so I hope that helps you know like I said I'm not an expert but these are just what I've noticed during my journey of protective style so I just finished taking down my braids on one side of my head. I'm going to begin on the other side. So while I'm taking down my braids, I do not attempt to detangle my hair whatsoever. Even some of my braids that had a little bit of buildup. So I had a little bit of buildup in between where my new growth ended and the braid began in that little area. And even then, I did not try to detangle that part where it had a little bit of buildup. I'm just going to wait till I'm done unraveling all my braids and then I'm going to detangle my hair.
So when it comes to my detangling process, I try to keep it as simple as possible. So I like to use a product that gives my hair a lot of slip. So I either use two products, which are one, the African Pride Leave-In Conditioner, or it is the VL5 Kiwi Squeeze Conditioner. But for some reason, I ran out of both of those products and I don't know why I kept the empty bottles. But I'm going to be using this ORS olive oil conditioner and I'm going to be using some water in a spray bottle. I eventually took the water that was in the spray bottle and I added it to the conditioner. And this is because it saved me more time. Um, going back and forth between the conditioner and the spray bottle was getting to be annoying. So I just ended up adding the water into the conditioner and it just saved me a lot of time. Um, so what I like to do is section my hair into small medium sections and then I'll go ahead and put the conditioner in my hair. I use a lot of conditioner. I saturate my hair in conditioner because I want to make sure that I get a enough slip so that way the detangle brush can just guide through my hair so that's all I'm doing I'm just going to be sectioning my hair into medium to small sections saturating my hair with the conditioner and the water and then I'm just going to go in with my detangle brush so all the items that I'm using in this video, I'll leave a link in the description box. So if you are interested in any of the things that I'm using, make sure you check out the description box. Also, when it comes to detangling, I like to start off with my ends and then I work my way up to my roots. And if I come across any knots or any tangles, I'll just go ahead and add more conditioner. So after I've detangled the section, I twist my hair up. I like to make sure that my hair is thoroughly detangled because once I twist my hair up, that is most likely how I plan on washing my hair. I wash my hair while it's in twist because it's just, it makes the process faster as well as it helps me to get to my scalp. <laughs>
after I finish detangling my hair, I will be washing my hair. I have a wash day video coming soon. Also, um, I will be showing you guys how much shed hair I got after detangling my hair. But that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.